This is a review of Dragon's Gift Jasmine, by Jasmine Walt and May Sage. This is book one of the Dragon's Gift trilogy. It is a reverse harem fantasy. And it is a fantasy in the double meaning of that word. Meaning this is a book that is for mature ladies. Ladies who are okay with the sexy, sexy scenes. Maybe you would even call it erotica. I don't think it actually had quite enough of a ratio of sexy, sexy to plot for erotica. But but it's a reverse harem. What that means is it's one heroine and multiple guys and she, spoiler alert, she ends up with the multiple guys. Now I didn't realize that at the beginning but I realized I should have realized it because it's a reverse harem and that's often how they end. That's why it's not just a love triangle or something because she actually gets to keep all of them. Now I just have to say that as an actual marriage concept that sounds exhausting to me. One husband is enough work. I love my husband but my gosh, I can't imagine having triple the husbands to take care of. That would be yeah, utterly exhausting. But as a fantasy, I can relate to it. And I found I just found it very funny and hilarious. I was hoping this book would be funny and hilarious. And it was. I enjoyed it a lot. It was silly, but it took itself seriously enough. I actually prefer that than something that is constantly winking at the reader or breaking the fourth wall or thinks it's so funny. This was just light hearted, good, sexy fun. And that's what I look for when I read a reverse harem book, let me tell you. What is there to say about this book? The world building was very basic. She took things that she expected her reader to know and be familiar with and then she just built a very basic world that would serve the reverse harem story and it did. Let me give you an example of what I mean. In this world there are three kingdoms. One is of dragon shapeshifters, one is of elves, and one is of shadow mages. There are three brothers. The brothers are all dragon shifter princes and the heroine is also from the dragon shifter company country, but the brothers mirror the strengths and weaknesses of the countries in this world. So there's the youngest brother, he's the soft-hearted, kind, compassionate, concerned about people brother, and he mirrors the values of the elves. There's the middle brother, he's the sneaky spy brother, who's very clever, he mirrors the shadow mages. And then there's the eldest brother, which when I read it, I thought she was going to end up with him instead of just getting everybody, but you know, what did I know? But he is the one who mirrors the values of the dragon kingdom, which are courage and duty, but also can lead into having a temper and, and madness. Conquest and dictatorship. So <laughs> the dragons and all of the other groups have their flaws and the brothers and all of the other groups have their flaws. Now what set this book above just a sort of plotless romance or plotless erotica story is that it did have a plot, it did have character development, our heroine was quite the sassy wench and she really took all the brothers for a test drive before she finally made her choice which was I want them all. But <laughs> in addition to that very silly and fun plot there was a murder mystery. So that actually kind of elevated the whole plot. It gave it this level of intrigue that was beyond just who is she going to pick. And especially if I'd realized she's, oh duh, she's probably going to end up with all of them. I don't know who the, the murderer is yet. I have my suspicions, but I really don't know. So there was this murder mystery because there their kingdom is at war with the kingdom of the elves and the reason is because their mother was murdered and they first think that the elves did it and now there's some question because they find a spell and so they're not sure was it the shadow mages was it their own father has he been driven mad because of dragon magic sometimes does that and did he murder his own wife but there's also other suspects there's other characters including some elves some dragons some shadow mages we don't know for sure who did it and I guess that's where the trilogy is going to go. Now to be honest I don't think that trilogies work that well when you have romances especially when you finish off the romance at the end so in my opinion it only works if you actually start with a new couple or a new quartet whatever you're gonna have depending on your genre so it seems like they're gonna be following her again in the second book and honestly I don't the murder mystery made this book interesting but I don't know that it's so interesting that it can carry the plot by itself once you don't have the romance and how are they gonna continue the romance when she's already made up her mind so I I don't understand that and I'm not sold on the second book yet. I didn't buy it yet. I did instead just buy another reverse harem book that's a completely different one because I thought, okay, this is fun. I'll try another one. So that's what I've done and that's all I have to say in this review. It's if, if this is your genre that you like, you'll probably like it. If this is not the kind of genre that you like and you only want to read one and you like dragons, maybe this is the one you might want to read because it did have the mystery that was kind of cool. And if this is the kind of book that just makes you want to vomit in your mouth, well, obviously don't read the book, silly. Okay, Tara out.